Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. I come before thee, dear Lord, as your servant to share your word. Lord, use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people, and as you bless them, do not pass me by. I pray that I may decrease as you increase, O King of Kings. And I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet. So that, dear Lord, you may surround me with the precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. And that there may be protection against any distractions of the enemy that come to waste time. Even for my viewers and my listeners, I commit them to thee, dear Lord, that they will be able to listen, oh my Father, and watch this without distraction for their own benefit and to be a blessing to other people as they share. I declare and decree that this is a holy moment and a holy ground, my Father, for this our Lord. Receive all the praises, receive all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I am broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. God bless all those people who invented the power of technology that we can be able to encourage each other when we are far because somebody did not just keep an idea that was put in him by God. The title of my message today will be Pray. Actually, God gave me this acronym yesterday night, the previous night. And sometimes even when I personally, when I get a message, there are times that I wonder, is it my thought of what is happening? But I couldn't get away with it. And it is coming in terms of an acronym. And my phases of reference in line with this will be from the book of First Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18. But I would encourage you to read the entire chapter. I'm reading from New King James Version in Jesus' name. And the Bible, the Bible says, let me start from verse 15. See that no one led us evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good both for yourself and for all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. May the Lord bless his word. Pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. And here come the acronym that God put in my spirit and in my mind. Pray for praise, praising God. You praise God for who he is and not because he has just done anything that you think maybe he has given me a million dollars. You praise God because he's worthy all the praises. And I can refer to so many stories in the Bible that when people praised, a miracle happened. The walls of Jericho because people praised and worshipped God. They came trembling down. So I don't get distracted from my acronym. I'm going to go to letter R. Releasing yourself to God or surrendering to him, yourself to him. When you surrender to God, it's you accepting that there is nothing you can do without him. Just like a baby who cannot do without the mother. Oh, there's the same way, my brother, my sister, you cannot do without God. We learn to release all to him, to surrender ourselves to him. Acronym A, acknowledging the Lord. Acknowledge him and he shall guide your ways. Acknowledge that were it not for God, you'd not have reached where you are. And you can be able to say, like uh, the Israelites say that, Ebenezer, that this far the Lord has taken me. The Lord has brought me. The Lord has given me this. You acknowledge him as the giver of all, the giver of your life, the giver of the soul. That is when you acknowledge him. Letter Y, yielding. You yield to him. You submit to him. To yield is to surrender. To get all things out of you. You yield to God. 
because he he, he uh, specializes in lifting those who humble themselves. You yield, you surrender, you realize there is nothing I can do without him. When you look, when you listen to this message, the acronym of prayer, the word pray, it's all ties together. You, you can imagine you praise, you release yourself, you acknowledge that were it not for the Lord, nothing you would have managed to do, and you yield, you yield to him. Submit yourself to the hand of God. What is that you are struggling with? Run to praise God, learn to release all to him, run to acknowledge that it is him who can always make a way for you when there seems to be no way. Yield yourself, submit my brother, my sister. Is it in the area of your job and you are feeling that you are fitting, you are facing difficulties and challenges do not give up just acknowledge that the lord is able to see you through just praise him because in praising him it you open the door by the way praise is like a master key it opens the peace of your heart do you know that people who don't pray they'll always find fault in things or just something little will just trigger their anger. And that anger affects even their health. Their blood pressure can raise up. Somebody can just start sweating because they are angry. Why? Because when you, when you don't praise, there is something else you do. You complain. Praise, when you praise God, it's like your eyes of your understanding are open beyond the natural. When you release all to God, you hear somebody saying something about you and you say, God, I give it all to you. Actual fact, in my album number three, I have a song that God gave me that uh, I give it all to Jesus. I give it all, I give it all, I give it all unto Jesus. I give it all, I give it all, I give it all. And to Jesus, my war is Lord. I give them all. I give them all. And to Jesus, my marriage Lord. I give it all. I give it all. And to Jesus, my children Lord. I give them all. I give them all. And to Jesus, my struggles Lord. I give them all. I give them all unto Jesus. How I pray that my brother, my sister, when you combine the acronym of prayer, the word pray, that you can be able to give it all to the Lord. And when you pray, you will praise, you will release, you will acknowledge the Lord, and you will yield to him. May God bless you today. And again, it was from First Thessalonians 5, first and I read 15 to 18. May the Lord bless you. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that this word may be an encouragement to my viewer and my listener that whatever charity they could be going through, they will realize that when they praise you, oh God, when they release and surrender all to you, my Savior, oh my Father, when they acknowledge that you are the only one who can see them through and they yield all to you, they will be able to experience that peace that surpasses all human understanding in the midst of chaos and storms of life in Jesus name amen and amen you are there you have never trusted the Lord the first step is for you to surrender all to God knowing that without him there is nothing you can do recognizing that he sent Jesus for your sake do you want to say this prayer for your transformation my brother my sister Lord Jesus, I come before you. I surrender to you. I give my life to you. Forgive my sins and let my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you pray, pray that prayer, you become a Christian, a son of God, a daughter of God. Next step, look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel from genesis to revelation without compromise for your spiritual growth this is your spiritual menu for your spiritual growth when you go to that church desire more than just a sunday service sunday service once a week cannot be enough for you i can only agree it will be enough for you if you only eat one meal a week and you are okay after you grow, after you establish yourself in that place, desire 
to be a participator rather than just a spectator. And the Lord will bless you because as you participate, you grow spiritually. I can't tell you how much I experience spiritual growth by serving. And until next time, I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. You can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God from all over by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search One Word Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, download the app One Word Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. I also have an announcement. Next month, October, uh, September 14th from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Celebrate Your Moment is, will be hosting a meeting and the theme is from Psalms 30 verse 5 that weeping may endure for a night but joy come in the morning. Location will be in Grace Fellowship, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. You don't want to miss that. I can't just wait to see you there. May the Lord bless you.